Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from youtube.com slash Jenny Unscripted or livelifeunscripted.blogspot.com. Um, as I mentioned in my earlier blog post, it is the fabulous, fantastic summer break right here now in the big orange house. And as I mentioned in that post, I don't really like to do too much in the summer. I like to kind of just relax and spend time with my kids, but inevitably... They will want to leave that big orange house. They will want to go and do something. We have friends that want to see us. We have actually a lot of stuff that we do in the summer. So in order to get ready, I like to keep my makeup and my getting ready routine to almost the bare minerals. Um, they're not bare minerals. <laughs> bare minimum. Um, I do, as you'll see in this tutorial, I do use a lot of products, but I don't use as much of them, and I use multi-use products. Um, I do apologize for the quality of this video. I am using my webcam at the moment because I could not get my flip video to the right angle. Um, so let's get started. I have started off just basically um, blotting any excess oil using my Palladio rice powder, um, oil absorbing blotting tissues with rice powder. Um, and then I followed it up with my Kiehl's Ultra Facial oil-free lotion as my moisturizer. So my face is good and moisturized. Um, I would normally put a sunscreen on, but I did that this morning, so it's done. Um, in order to kind of prime my face or get it ready to be seen in public, I do have um, medium to large pores through my cheekbones and across my nose. Sorry, I'm going to move my legs because my foot's falling asleep. Um, I started off with the Benefit Benefit professional. Um, I do have the full size bottle in my makeup cabinet, but this little sample came in the oxygen wild box, so I figured I would just use it up while I had it. So now what I'm going to do is I use that as my primer and also to get rid of any pores. So I'm going to finish up with my um, Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow foundation. I really like this one. I'm in the color right now. Um, I'm Plush and Precious Petal. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm normally in the lightest shade. I think it's called ivory or something. But I happen to get lucky this summer and have a little bit of color. So I'm in the plush now. So we're going to put on a light covering of this. I know that most people do not wear foundation in the summer. Normally, if I'm just staying home, I don't wear any makeup at all. Um, but when I go out, like I said, I like a light cover to just even out skin tone and everything. I find that this foundation... Um, I'll talk while I'm putting it on, so this video is not an hour long. Um, I find that this foundation, when put on lightly, um, can just be a little bit of a sheer cover to even things out. I don't know why it's looking orange right now on the camera, um, but it really is my skin tone, I promise. So I just, like I said, I put it on in stripes across my cheeks. One dot on my chin, one dot on my nose, and the nose one I really drag down onto the upper lip area. Um, and I just blend it in with my hands most of the time. I've tried a brush, um, and it ends up just looking painted on my face. And so I really need to invest in a beauty blender. That's probably the next beauty purchase that I make. Um, but I have that on, and see, just one light coat I literally had... I didn't show you beforehand. I literally just had a drop that covered the tip of my finger and it covered my whole entire face just with a light covering to kind of uh, smooth out any unevenness, things like that. The next thing I'm going to use is the Benefit um, Stay Don't Stray. I got a little sample of it from Sephora in this Full Glam Ahead kit um, just so I could try it out before I actually had to buy it. The kit was $12 and included the Stay Don't Stray, um, the High Beam, and the um, Benefit Bad Gal Lash. And so um, I wanted to try these products before I spent the money on the big version. So we're going to use the Stay Don't Stray. And this is we're actually going to dot um, on our eyelids all the way up to the brow bone. And also in this area down here, I'm going to kind of sweep it. And this is actually going to double as... Um, a little bit of a concealer. I'm going to use something else in just a minute, which you'll see. But it's a primer and a concealer. It's an eye primer and a concealer primer. So it um, gets everything around your eyes to kind of just 
stay where it's supposed to be, hence the name, stay, don't stray. Okay, so now that we have that on, um, again, I really apologize for the quality of this video. I should have done this on my flip. Um, now we are actually, I'm skipping ahead. Um, I'm actually going to use my Garnier Nutrition Use Skin Renew Anti-Circle or Anti-Dark Circle Roller as a concealer today. It's I find that it's enough to cover my dark circles without being really thick because in the summertime I like minimal um, products. I also like things that are not heavy at all on my face. Okay. Now we're going to go to that Benefit High Beam, and we're actually going to use this. This is a highlighter, but we're also going to use it just as a eyeshadow today. Um, let me go ahead and rub that one in before I do the other one, because I got it a little too close to my eyelashes. And I just rub that in, into my inner corner, all the way up to the brow bone, um, just to even things out, just to kind of give it a nice sheen. It has that uh, little peachy, shimmery, not really shimmery. Um, iridescent kind of candlelight glow and it really works as just a really quick mommy eyeshadow and I call it my mommy eyeshadows because when I have to run around with the kids mom needs just a quick makeup and I'm going to use the Benefit Bad Gal Lash um, sometimes I will do an eyeliner if I need to if I feel like doing that extra step and if I do I tend to um stick with a brown as opposed to a black. Um, I really like the Stila Smudge Stick in Lionfish. It's pretty dark brown. Um, and the only reason why I do that is just because it looks a little bit more natural when you're going for just this quick let me throw something on so that the kids will leave me alone and I can go to the park with them kind of make it look. <sighs> Okay, so as you can see, we are already at, I'm going to move over real quick. Okay. So now what we're going to use is I'm going to use a little bit of blush. This is the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush in the color Doll Face. And for those of you that have been wanting to try these Amazonian Clay products but have not really been too sure about them, didn't want to fork out the money until you knew if you liked it or not. Um, I'm going to show you a product in just a minute that will let you try those out. I'm also using the uh, Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer in the color Park Avenue Princess. And I this one literally just dab your brush into. It tends to be just a little bit dark for me so I really don't need a whole lot uh, of product there just to give me a nice glow and like I said if you wanted to try these and you didn't want to break the bank um, I got both of these they're considered travel size but as you saw there's a fairly good amount of product in there um, in this little kit the Tarte blush and bronze on the go. Um, I found it by the register at Sephora. It was $15, but considering one blush is like $28 at Sephora, um, $15 for both of them. And I go through blushes and bronzers like nobody's business, so that was just the perfect price for me. So we're almost done, guys. We've already got our eyes done, our cheeks, our bronzer, everything done, and we're still less than 10 minutes, if you excuse the fact that I had that intro. And everything else. So now what I'm using is um, the Josie Marin or the yeah, Josie Marin um, Magic Marker Lip and Cheek Stain in Tango. If you wanted to, you could actually use this as your cheek, but I really like the Tarte, so I'm just using that. But I'm going to use this one. Uh, I find that these lip stains are really, really easy to do uh, because this one in particular really doesn't have a very deep color payoff. Um, as you can see, you can layer it to have a deep color payoff. But it doesn't feel like there's anything on my lips. It feels very moisturizing. It still doesn't feel like there's really anything on my lips. And so 
that is it, guys. Um, I've done my foundation. I've done a primer, blush, bronzer, the high beam for your all over eyelid just to look awake, have something on there, mascara, and a lip stain, and you're out the door. And you still look to put together and polished and presentable without having to do a whole lot, without having a lot of makeup to weigh you down. In this hot summer, we live in the Big Orange House down here in South Texas, so it is smoldering in the summer. Um, so I hope that this was informative. I'm s my eyes are watering now. I'm sorry that I talked too fast and for the quality of this video, but I hope it was somewhat informative, and there will be more information in the blog post, so check back to um, Live Life unscripted.blogspot.com I'll have a link for that down in the info box. Until next time, I hope your day is just as fabulous as you are. Have a great day.